Talis, tabung listrik. Tabung listrik, eh, the program from PLN, our state on uh, enterprise, SOE. And then they use solar panel. We know in solar panel, there are some drawbacks about the efficiency and the price, right? And then that's why I want to bring uh, hydrogen energy, hydrogen energy to as, as the solutions for them. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is what I want to tell you about the basic and principle of the implementations. I got this title from the committee, so I have to deliver to you. So then the first case, as you remember, it is linear. Linear mean what, what you did in the previous research or your previous background uh, is the same thing as you do in the future. And this is uh, related to uh, your master degree and everything. It's very good for your, when you have interview for the LPDB and the AAD and everything, when you have uh, the linear uh, experience. And also the second thing is it rarely happened because it needs multi-billion project. For GESIT itself, uh, uh, hold on. I think it's uh, around 200, no, 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 200 billion, 200 billion projects. So it's hard to do, it, it, it needs big investment, but, what, what we can do is for SDG number 11, is the second case one, it's hard to do. The second case is most of us actually can do this because it is not linear. What I do is researching about hydrogen car, but what I apply to the real life is only the core of the research. It is about the hydrogen. That's how uh, we do for most of us. And it is mostly happen. And it only need low million project, not until billion. And also more flexible to do. Okay. And then let's move to the action plans. Okay. For the first case, uh, it needs 24 seven of research or around 100 hours per week. Have you ever heard about Elon Musk's story? Yeah, it is first case. And the second is uh, it needs build, it, it, we have to build giant strong teams for the cooperations um, for this project, one project, okay? And the third is we have to learn many things for one case. This case could be your case, for example. If you have focus on trash, on the waste, if you have focus on the yeah, everything, you have to learn many things for this case. And then you need very big investors to move this case to the industrial. If not, you, you just have small scale uh, for your case. And the second case is, it is flexible working hours. So it means uh, you can do parallel for your another job, flexible working hours. It means when I, when I do uh, hydrogen research, I can do uh, electric vehicle research in the same time. I can do another research. And, but we have to make collaborations. Okay, the second case, because you have focused on the, for example, your case, your background is, about the waste uh, and anything. You have to make collaboration because uh, you do not need uh, kind of big investors. So, and then you have focus on one thing, okay? Only to your case, only to your case. And also the last things is uh, uh, we have flexible investors. So it means when we want to make it bigger, your case become big impact. Uh, the investor is uh, no need to be as big as the first case. 
Okay, I hope uh, this is actually the action plans that uh, we can do for the SDG number 11 based on my uh, previous story. And I try this plan to be applicable to you. Because everyone in here have case. I don't know, uh, mostly of us, but what? And then this is, I think the last, uh, what's next? The next is, I will tell you something uh, rare in the internet. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. So this is how electric vehicle technology improved SDGs, not only number 11. Above the water, it is on internet, available on the internet. This is my topics, and this is under below the water. Uh, I think not available on the internet, not all of them. Okay, the first thing is about, yeah, you already know that it is environmentally friendly. Uh, oh. Okay, this is environmentally friendly. Uh, as, you, as we can see in the many news that electric vehicle have, uh, you know, have been environmentally friendly, it's normal. It affects the 13 number, number 13 climate actions of the SDGs. Okay. The next is uh, renewable energy. We already know it's common. It's affect to the seven SDG about affordable and clean energy. I will make it fast. Uh, new technology, yes, you already know. And the last is no CO2 emissions. Yeah, I, I think most of us most of us is already know. It is affect the number 15, life online. And then below the water, 30% <clears throat> savings, yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes media talk about this, but they do not know how to the exactly savings that we can uh, gain, that we can uh, get from the electric vehicle and its ecosystems. So it affects uh, the SDG number, I think number uh, number eight, and also number one, no property. What happens today, uh, maybe last week, I use Gojek. Uh, electric Gojek called Electrum in Kemang, South Jakarta. Uh, he said that he saved at least uh, 30%. And today, this afternoon, I use Gojek Electric again. He said every month, he said 500,500 ribu rupiah each month. And he can move to the better uh, house, uh, rent, rent, rent house. He can give uh, his uh, children his child uh, better uh, food and everything it's not coming from me it is coming from the real world uh, experience users so every day i use gojek electric to find these things is it if we have good impact or not and then the next is 95 percent energy efficiency you know what when you use uh, gasoline it's only have a uh, 15 percent efficiency uh, pertalite yeah if you use and also 30 percent if you use uh, solar or diesel if you use electric vehicle is it cars or motorcycle you have 95 percent energy efficiency it comes from the basic of the mod electric motor and also it comes from its ecosystem and the vehicle systems. For example, when you are on the traffic light, you stop red light. There, there, there is no, there are no any energy used by the vehicle. But when you use a kind of pertalite vehicle, gasoline vehicle, your motorcycle still on idle state, and it burns, it burns. And you know what? Today, I can say around 270 billion almost 300 
300 miliar rupiah. Each day, daily, is burn. Burn uh, for subsidy. Sorry. Okay, uh, energy subsidy. So you can imagine today, uh, now is 10, uh, 8 p.m. And uh, when you reach on the maybe 00, zero uh, p.m. at this night, uh, you will imagine, you can imagine that last 24 hours, 24 hours, there are 270 billion rupiah, 270 miliar burn uh, in the road or in the industry for the subsidy of the energy. Okay, this huge money every day, every day. Okay, that's why. But when we use electric vehicle, this money for the battery, the battery life is around six to 10 years and it could be recycled. So 10 years, this money is still have value if we use electric vehicle. But if you use internal combustion engine, uh, or the conventional vehicle, it burned, it lost, uh, we lost it. And then this thing is uh, effect to the number 11, uh, 12 of the SDG, responsible consumption and uh, production. Next. And the IoT of the vehicle, <clears throat> it affects number 11 about sustainable cities and communities because for uh, big cities and bigger communities, we need IoT to handle off them. And then, next. No sore muscle. Uh, how, how about in Indonesia? Uh, pegel -pegel, how to say. So when you, it is a real test, real life test. I asked to uh, Gojek rider, okay, using electric vehicle. <clears throat> He said this afternoon at 5 p.m. Uh, when I come to my office here, uh, when he use electric vehicle, he do not uh, have any sore muscle uh, because I will ask to you after this because of what. But when we use internal combustion internal combustion engine vehicle, we have sore muscle because of what? Because there is uh, no vibration. Okay, this is a significant impact. When we use electric vehicle, there is no vibration from the engine, there's no vibration from the vehicle, and it affects us that uh, we, we do not have sore muscle. It's much more, much, much more uh, convenient for us. And it affects number three, SDG number three, for the good health and well being. Next. Uh, and then better fluid capability. Mostly media and uh, unresponsible opinion uh, tell us that electric vehicle is dangerous for the uh, it, when when we pass through the fluid. But um, actually, I use electric vehicle for almost through 2.5 years. When I go passed through the fluid, what? It is much more effective. I never having my electric motorcycle die because of the fluid, but uh, in the same time, uh, internal combustion vehicle, uh, when passing through the fluid, they will be die because they have air filter, they are in air intake, blah, 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 and so on. Uh, they die, but electric vehicle is no. This thing is uh, really rare in the internet. Maybe this is my first time telling to the public that if he is better for the fluid capability. And and many more. I don't put any uh, all of them in here because of the time. And you know what? The 80%, 80 percent, 80 percent of the instant benefit of the instant instant benefit <clears throat> is under the water, uh, below the water. Uh, there are no media talking of this one, uh, all of this, I think, I, I mean. And only yearly EV users and also researchers that know these things. But 
um, our top of the political uh, people like president and everyone and also the media, they only talk the 20%. That the benefit, sorry, the benefit of the uh, the benefit of the uh, electric vehicle. All of them always talking renewable energy, environmental friendly, new technology, blah, blah, blah. But they do not realize how uh, EV te uh, technology uh, improves SDGs. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is actually um, short brief of the SDG number 11 mm, and also the electric vehicle. Okay, and uh, the times, uh, I will give it back to Ms. Korea. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Kar Yoga, thank you so much for the presentation. So uh, thank you for all the speaker uh, for the informative and then uh, interesting talk. Uh, actually, I already saw many questions here because I uh, also interesting with these stems. Uh, so uh, actually, I just want to like um, uh, describe about the about the uh, the rules about uh, rules for question and answer. Actually, there will be like two session for each session there are maybe like uh, the first session for the question and answer will be delivered by me because uh, maybe I want to like uh, clarify some points uh, to the speakers maybe uh, and then the second session uh, will be delivered by uh, participants uh, because there are so many uh, questions here uh, some of them is like uh, sent to direct message to me so I maybe I, I, I will uh, I will talk uh, uh, and then I will speak about the this uh, question from the speaker uh, to the speaker. So uh, maybe uh, let's move to the first session. Maybe it's come for me. Uh, maybe I will go to Kaputri uh, first. Okay, Ka, as you know that Indonesian has uh, like new program. Uh, if you know like Sekolah Zonasi, maybe you already heard about it. So. Yeah. Uh, for the people that uh, yeah are near uh, in like in the environment of the school, they can enter the school, even though that maybe the the point I mean like uh, name, uh, it's little and because mm -hmm. uh, we have some like international school and then maybe national school, ESR RSBI ya RSBI Sekolah Bertaraf International ada juga like in SSN yang uh, international standard station. So maybe uh, I think uh, for some people that uh, in that environment is not uh, capable for enter uh, international school, but uh, because of sekolah zonasi, um, they should enter and then uh, it's like uh, they need to uh, to go to that school, even uh, they're not capable uh, in that school. So what do you think? Uh, is uh, Sekolah Zonasi will give the solution for uh, for our problem, or do you think uh, do you have any uh, view uh, about that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I will answer it by maybe showing uh, some pros and cons yeah, of this uh, uh, Sekolah Zonasi program. First is the the pros. Yeah, I I very know that because of the Zonasi. The, people who wants to make uh, their children study with the uh, people who are maybe more yeah relatively more smarter or maybe people who are a little more well yeah, have more skill that people have already knowledge that this certain school has more yeah you know achievement and sort of thing uh, besides the other schools and so yeah I think they will miss some kind of that that kind of circle circle who will make students learn get more better because they were motivated by uh, the other friends yeah that, that's one of the cons uh, but the pros if we if we look at the the positive side it's actually a uh, way more better because um people who has they, they have the same access because they with uh, there's no a, a more little a discrepancy between each schools like uh it's more a uh, natural so that people didn't look on 
the other side school oh this school is bad this school is good i think uh if if we look at which 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 uh, uh greater or which uh lesser i think it depends on how the teacher teach their student or how the teacher give um uh, you know knowledge or insight to the student if the teacher are in increasingly encouraging the student like come on you have to participate in the competition we have to uh increase our level we have to uh increase our rent school it will be much more beneficial for the long term because if we stay on yeah like the previous one like errors bay in something uh we know that uh, only certain school has the best the best grades and and the other school was left behind yeah so i think for the sake of the the quality yeah, the inequality it's, it's uh, i think it's more good for the of the future of the quality of the education yeah, for the, the new school but also yes it depends highly on the teacher i guess yeah i think that's that's my point for this this zona school programs yeah so uh actually we are not concerned about the the students itself but we concerned about improving mm -hmm. the school am i right mm -hmm. like human resource yeah. the teachers and then the facilities yeah. of the school okay mm -hmm. okay then so that's uh, guys uh because uh maybe uh, some of participants like uh ask about the scholars and so uh one left question uh, the last question from uh, you, Kak Putri. So as we know that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have uh, in Indonesia, we have some difficult, uh, difficult students, right? But not in mind. I mean, like uh, they have maybe mm -hmm. they didn't mm -hmm. have any um, uh, cacat in, apa ya? Cacatnya di, uh, he cannot walk, they cannot walk only, but uh, disabled is not in their talk. I mean, autism is something like that. But the should difference, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, is there like participants from other country? Because I want to make it sure about this question. Uh, so Kak, maybe I will ask in Bahasa, sorry guys, uh, because I think this question is very important for you to make an essay. Uh, jadi Kak, uh, kalau misalnya Kakak tahu, kita itu kan berada di lingkungan sekolah yang misalnya buat teman-teman uh, yang memang dia punya kekurangan dalam hal bukan dalam hal pemikiran ya kak dalam hal ini kan kayak autis hmm. itu memang dia harus berbeda sekolahnya hmm. dengan orang-orang yang memiliki disable maksudnya itu kayak misalnya dia kayak tidak bisa berjalan dia harus pakai mungkin kakinya ada yang kurang satu mohon maaf sebelumnya teman-teman atau dia uh, uh, tidak bisa berbicara atau dia bisa bisa ber, bisa membaca mungkin itu uh, dia seharusnya tidak uh, memiliki sekolah yang berbeda dengan kita yang maksudnya hmm. yang bisa berpikir karena dia itu kurangnya itu bukan di dalam otak tapi di dalam di dalam uh, tubuh lah gitu hmm. gitu. But what do you think about that? Because uh, hmm. Indonesia saya uh, aku rasa belum uh, concern about it ya. Hmm. Kalau ya kan jadi teman-teman uh, yang meri mereka memiliki disable bukan uh, in talk, tapi di dalam tubuh itu mereka harus bersekolah di sekolah khusus. Padahal okay. harusnya kita mungkin ini juga bakal relat sama kak Yoga ya terkait environment environment bagaimana kita uh, membuat sekolah bangunan sekolah yang bisa digunakan buat teman-teman yang menggunakan kursi roda. Mm -hmm. Nah, what do you think about that? Yes, okay. yeah. Uh, I think in my point of view, uh, once again, it all depends on the students like uh because i think each student has their own opinion and they have their own preferences so we can't just uh like judge the student like well uh, uh maybe some of the student they they would like to be in the same school with the other student but uh, but some of the student they would like to be uh with, with the same like them like uh, the one who yeah maybe have the same uh similarities maybe like a, like a kind of physical yeah i think it all depends on the students so we have to ask the students which uh preferences that he he likes to do and i think uh yeah i do agree with the idea that uh, we we should not be students because uh, uh the essence of the education itself like we are learning inequality in the same sense right and for uh, to to do that i think we should have a separate uh you know, like a separate lecture for the students that has uh, that needs more these more special specialities i think some 
some special school, uh, some special lecture they have to handle, help the students to uh, go through in, in the normal school. So with this with this lecture, they could help the student that has more um, more needs to can uh, so that they can come uh, you know compete with the other normal student. So they they didn't left feels left behind. So and I I have actually I have that kind of lecture back in my my uh, high school. Yeah, in my my senior high school, and I think that's it's really that's really good. And we also we 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 usually can play also with the with the student that has uh physical disabilities. And yeah, I think in some schools it already has been implemented, but also uh, maybe some students more prefer to be in a different school. So yeah, I think uh we, we should give them give them a choice for that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's for me. Yeah, for it. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Kaputri, for the answer. So, guys, I uh, already may, maybe you have you want to uh, give some view or you want to give some opinion about it, uh, and then you want to clear uh, these things. Uh, maybe you can ask uh, to the uh, column chat. And then, uh, thank you so much, Ka Kaputri, for the uh, answer. So, I will move to Kareza. Uh, I have me uh, two questions in here. Uh, same as Kaputri. So as we know that uh, actually from your profile, uh, you told us that uh, you are a researcher and I know from your uh, CV and then uh, your presentation that you are like a young researcher, but uh, as we know that social media has grown so fast. And then uh, the problem is that we face now uh, that our literacy interest in our society is very, very, decreasing as social media come to us but uh i just like want to like simple question what should we fight uh for this uh for these things to increasing the uh, interest of literacy interest in our society because you we know that uh millennium and gen, gen generation z yeah generation z, z generation um it's already like a famous with social media. They didn't even know like uh, the how to um, smell the book smell uh, because I, I like to uh, reading book. Uh, they didn't know about that and they uh, prefer to uh, uh, see uh, in the social media. I mean, in Instagram especially and then TikTok because uh, there is so many visual that uh, what they think about it. Maybe uh, you can like mention how to increasing that. Okay, thank you, Korea. I think this is a great question, <laughs> and it is hard to answer actually. <laughs> yes, um, actually, I decided to go to the research, and I want to be the researcher. Is 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 kind of the because because of the my school and my teachers and my parents is forcing me. That that's true because in Indonesia, when we talk about the education, we only focus in the formal education. And I think most of them, and maybe most of your people or the student is, they feel that the our education is just the is not practical. It's a very theoretically concept. If if you want to go far and you can go to the maybe for example the United States, you will be know that the all of the curriculum, the research curriculum is already integrated with the curriculum in the school. And when I was in Taiwan, I'm very impressed because. Um, the elementary school, the teacher is, is already give some, the coding basic. It's kind of to be the programmer or little programmer. But as you can see in Indonesia, even, even me, like today, um, I just, I just want to say that it's very hard to understand what is the programmer and what is the coding, what, what is the concept and anything, anything else. Then I decided to be the researcher because I can see about the opportunity, the big opportunity. I can get the scholarship because of the researcher, because of uh, about my the competition. And don't forget, if the researcher is just one of the example, I'm not underlying about the researcher itself, but we can go to another things. For example, we want to go to, as the scientists or robotic teams, or you can create another startup business, as anything full, anything. But the important thing, you must have some difference with the other people. If you have the same 
standard. So for example, I already graduated in the senior high school, so we have the same formal education. And if you, if you have some uh, additional uh, concept or additional competencies, you will get to be different with the others. And talking about the social media, I think the social media is just the tools. And the important thing on the root cause is how to manage it. If, if you can manage uh, wisely, and then you can, you can really get the beneficiaries with the, another long journey. And if you want to talking about the library, I think, yeah, we cannot smell the books, like the physical book, I mean. That's why Chance Hunter comes with the technology. Today, the startup is growing up and the Science Hunter focus upon the edutech or education technology startup. So all of the people is can be accessed by using technology. And hopefully, um, maybe the teachers or the school have some regulation to, to be the to make the student is wisely to use the social media. Is I think is the, the important thing that can be considered by the school. Okay. Uh, Kareza, so maybe I just so continue from your statement before. So mm -hmm. uh, for some people that this doesn't have any group or maybe they want to like uh, uh, to be a solo researcher, yeah, we say that like a single <laughs> researcher or solo. Uh, so how to solve the problems uh, as simply as we can? I mean, like uh, for solo researcher, for single researcher, how to solve it as simply as we can? Because okay. you told that uh, you need to build a team or something like that, but some of uh, people cannot uh, uh, cannot work in team, but uh, they want to solve some problems in our environment. So how we solve it as simple as we can? Okay, okay. I will put aside the researcher first. Okay, but I want to focus about the top five skill. And based on the World Economic Forum, they say that in twenty twenty five there is a top five skill that um, must be considered by our student. Critical thinking, analysis, the problem solving, self-management and active learning. And if you want to talking about uh, that skill, you will didn't get in the formal education. I think, I think you can mention about it, but if you want to go to as the solo researcher, you will get covered all the top five skill for today. That's why um, this is the researcher is just one of the example and the, as the research is only the activities. Remember, research, research is the activities, not the output or the input. The output is to be to have some competency and skill, but true for the research. And if you want to, to be the researcher, yes, of course you will, uh, you will get um, many challenging, yes, but the process itself, if you, you can enhance about your critical thinking, the analysis, and the process itself, not the output. If you want to see the output, it's very simple. You can go to the competition and maybe you can ask someone to create your research or something else and we get the competition and you get the, the winner, but not the simple like that. The processes will be enhance your competency skill and your internal for your mindset. Okay, so actually uh, like, if we work as team, it's more better, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Uh, it's better if we work as team. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I, I recommend you, I recommend you to create your team because it's hard if you want as the individual researcher. And research is, something act the activities that needs to collaborate with the others people so you need people that maybe have some presentation in skill or in english or maybe they have some skill in writing so that's why you, you can collaborate as a team and you will be good uh, as in the competition so you can get the winner i think Okay, thank you so much for the answer, uh, Ka Reza. So I will move to Ka uh, Yoga. Okay, Ka Yoga, actually okay. I have to question uh, him uh, with other speaker. So uh, actually uh, I'm so interested with your project, but I want to ask uh, generally maybe for the project that already done by some people, uh, like this uh, in electric motorcycle. So how we guarantee 
all the product that already launched by uh, launched by us will be reached also by low social. I mean, like uh, especially uh, like Tesla. If you Tesla is like electric car, right? But uh, it's it only can be reached by like rich people. So uh, our uh, I mean, like uh, in Indonesia, uh, all the people is not rich. So what? How we can guarantee about that? I mean, like uh, we have uh, some quality as well with uh, like uh, good quality for the under there or something like that, a spare part or something like that. But also we want to like low also for the environment like uh, this motorcycle. Yeah, what do you think about it? How to guarantee it? Yeah, sure, of course, thank you. This is very technical and very economical and very good question. <laughs> Actually, uh... That is uh, EV life, EV electric vehicle life. That is before and after Tesla. So before Tesla, every electric vehicle is slow, uh, ugly, or and so on. And but after Tesla, everyone love electric vehicle because it fast, a uh, quick, uh, efficient, uh, expensive only for the operational. Sorry for the uh, initial cost, like the price of the vehicle, like the capex. But the opex, operational cost, operational expenditure, the operational cost, like uh, the electricity, uh, uh, the energy uh, to power the vehicle, it is very very cheap because actually, uh, okay, this is for Tesla uh, case. But for the electric vehicle two wheelers for uh, small communities, for uh, low uh, economic uh, uh, communities in Indonesia. Uh, there is two solutions. The first solution is we have to take out the battery price from the vehicle. Okay, when you buy uh, electric vehicle in Indonesia right now, mostly of them, uh, you have to buy the battery itself inside the vehicle. Battery price is very high. You know what? The battery is almost 40% component of the vehicle price. So when you have 1 million, 100 uh, million, uh sorry yeah, or, uh, anything lah. so battery is 40 percent of the electric vehicle cost so if uh and this is my plan uh i will take out the battery price from the electric vehicle and then uh, the price is significantly uh, goes down and then the second is rings anxiety people uh not just low economic value uh they have anxiety for the uh, driving range, riding range of the vehicle. Is it four wheelers or two wheelers? Uh, the same thing happens. So the problem is we have to provide the PSS, battery swap stations. That ha that's how we manage the battery uh, in every places, like in SPBU on everything. So everyone can just change the battery, swapping, swap the battery, uh, like this one. Sorry, this is the battery that we have uh, from. For, uh, in my vehicle electric vehicle two wheelers it is 10 kilograms and it can be uh, swipe swappable uh, so we we do not need to charge so you know what uh, the the one drawbacks uh, of the electric vehicle is uh, we need to take long charging long time charging right but we only swap maybe 10 seconds or 15 seconds it's very fast and that's the solution okay please next question Okay, thank you so much. So uh, we are like focused on the battery, right? Because yeah. uh, that is the expensive things. And, oh, and all of the battery is so 70 performance. You, you know, uh, every I mean, 70 performance of electric vehicles coming from the battery, 70%. Ah, wow, it's a very interesting. So maybe we can make like another startup to run the battery. Because yes, that's some of like low society. <laughs> yeah, Correct. because actually I'm a programmer also, so oh, maybe so we can you? collaborate these things. Okay, let's have the question. Okay, I'm so let's have the question for that. Yeah. So, okay. So um, also uh, just continue from a uh, yeah. previous uh, statement. So mm -hmm. how to build? Uh, maybe it's like same question to Kaputri before. Mm -hmm. uh, how we concerned about the disables, uh, disable like, uh, because I know that uh, public uh, in Indonesia, public transportation especially is not 
uh, effective for uh, disabled people. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, for someone like uh, use uh, because in Turkey uh, they have like uh, a special special like a special door for someone who's disabled. Uh, disabled, so mm-hmm. so uh, they can uh, they can enter from that. Uh, maybe it's out of the topic from your presentation, but I want to ask because you are expertise in this uh, uh, in this field. Maybe mm-hmm. you can like uh, answer about the concern from the participants about okay. these things. Okay. Like so public transportation or will be. Okay, so uh, we made uh, <clears throat> uh, one one of my project is disable electric electric disabled chair. So everyone making electric vehicle. So for disable for the you know uh, uh, they have to use uh, chairs, right? So uh, we choose to make electric. Uh, disabled chairs for the uh, disabled uh, communities. But uh, related to the transportations, uh, what we do maybe last two months ago, uh, we have project with a trans, uh, is it okay? Transjakarta uh, to make, uh, you know, uh, IOT basis. So when you use uh, not only, uh, elec- how to say, grab wheels. So you stand on the vehicle and then Yeah, you know, like Teletubbies uh, vehicle, you know, it is electric, right? Uh, it is uh, connected to the Trans Jakarta, and then we connect also the uh, for the additional uh, features of this project is for the uh, uh, disabled chairs. So uh, everyone that uh, want to use Trans Jakarta or uh, LRT, MRT, I think, uh, they they can use in the same platform. Same platform means uh, mobile phones, um, mobile apps. That um okay uh, goes to the core. They can put uh, their vehicle a uh, grab uh, grab wheels on everything the this kind of telepathic uh, vehicle and also the disabled uh, chairs inside to the trains and they have to some kind of make registration. So when they come to the locket uh, or ticket locket, uh, they will be helped by uh, uh, people. Uh, And then they will move, go to the train, and then yeah, that's so on. That's what we made is the platform, not only for the uh, urban communities, but also for the uh, we call it uh, yeah disabled communities lah yeah, I think because uh, my vision is I think that renewable energy is uh, uh, for all, not just about the EV but also the ecosystem. <clears throat> that's it. Okay, so actually, uh, Indonesia already concerned about this thing, right? Yeah. So start for uh, concern about this thing. Okay, thank you so much uh, for all the speaker uh, for the answer. Maybe uh, uh, there are so many questions here. Come to my, uh, let me show, just show, okay? Because uh, we have so many yeah, like long question here. Sorry. So, okay. So for the first question from Giri, uh, he's from Fresno University. So many problems related to education in Indonesia. One of the most attracting my attention is less or able or economic limitation of the parents, students in Indonesia. So that that interruption of education, judging from the highest laws and regulation in this Indonesian state, namely the 1945 uh, constitution before of afterwards Alenia is written kemudian hari pada itu untuk membentuk suatu pemerintahan negara Indonesia yang melindungi segenap bla 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 keadaan sosial my question is whether students can make a proposal for the cost of education to the government both regents governors or even directly to the central government because the minister of education Nadim said all citizens are entitled to quality education uh, maybe uh, this is uh, the first question to Kaputri The second question is, does the government dare or plan to re-adapt it for quality education, including to the free tuition of the board of basic, the most basic and the highest levels of education because of the fragment of Alenia of the fourth of the 1945 constitution since the declaration of Indonesia deficient by Sukarno Hatta since beginning Indonesia had a spark to improve the intelligence of the nation. Ah, this is a very interesting question. So you question about the free tuition for all the uh, education, the second question. Uh, the first question is like, uh, 
whether student can make my question is whether students can make your uh, director the central i mean uh giri you mean for helping them uh uh for continue his school am i right how giri I think that's it. Yeah, maybe uh, if you didn't understand, you can uh, do you uh, clear about the question, Kaputri? Actually, for the uh, yeah, first I, question, I, I quite, quite, understand for the, yeah, one, the first yeah. one. Yeah, I think I think the second question is uh, more regarding the the tuition yeah. fees from the most basic like the elementary school until the highest level of like the university like i think is it possible to make it free and and for the excess of it we like adapted to the other institution like for example work bank to uh finance those uh free tuitions yeah i think i i understand the questions perfectly uh for the first questions actually this is so interesting regarding the student movement right to uh, make a proposal and we talk to the government like how to make the cost more uh, maybe more accessible for us especially for those who has a lower economic conditions i i could tell that we, we, we can try we, we can actually try because in surabaya in saturday uh <laughs> i don't know but the 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 government like they, they opening some space. So if we want to talk to him, or maybe we have some ideas, or maybe uh, we have some kind of proposal regarding the cost of education, uh, we, we could try to uh, propose that. But yeah, then again, uh, it's it's uh, like the government right now is so full of the papers, right? And we also, as a student, we don't know quite sure uh, what are the 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 cost of education like all of it like uh, i mean the, the, the tuition fee of uh, the tuition fee and also for the teacher teacher salary and etc so i think uh, if we can uh, if we can propose we could try but i think uh, for uh, uh, i think we have some kind of limitation as a student to understand all of the costs of the government but we can still propose things uh, yeah i think the idea of proposing is is it's interesting for me but of but if thinking about what kind of cost that we're included in this proposal it's uh, we have to research more regarding that so yeah i think uh it, it's worth to try but yeah uh in 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 a nice way in a nice way and uh in a nice try to because if we want to propose something we have to make some uh reasonable reasonable logical explanation about that that's the first question and the second question is regarding how, how to finance, right? I I actually, uh, yeah, I like the idea of government who dare to give more, uh, you know, pre present presentation of maybe the the economic for the education. And I think there are many uh, sources of funding. It it is not just that, but you we can also collect the funding by taxes. And that's also what happened to the Germany, where where they free the tuition fee for the university, but they uh, leave a very high taxes for uh, the companies and also for uh, the labor workers. Yeah, that's uh, that's a kind of trade off. But I could say that I think in Indonesia we are currently progressing. Like we know, like the the previous LPDP, it only uh, funds for the masters and the doctoral degree, but now. We know that uh, like the ministry has made many programs just like the MBKM program and also for the ISMA program. I think uh, those programs also uh, need funds, right? And the, the government are, are starting to find yeah, the creative solution to finance those uh, program concerning education that makes uh, people who has uh, low economic, economic conditions can get a more, more education level. Yeah, I think the government are going in that way so i think we we, we should uh well advocate and we should uh control and we, we can also uh, see how the government uh, could increase its finance for the education i think yeah yeah but i i agree of the idea for the government who was brave to increase the funding yeah i think i think that's that's uh, my opinion yeah i think 
I think that's okay. for me. Yeah, thank you so much, Kaputri, if you uh for the answer. Maybe Giri, if you have any concern, uh, because of time we cannot continue your question. Maybe you can uh direct message to Kaputri to uh like uh, to confirm about these things. So uh, maybe I move to economic. So uh, as we know that uh, we face uh, some countries like Sri Lanka, Turkey also, Turkey also uh, are feeling crisis now. So uh, as yet, uh, what we should do? I mean, like, uh, should we invest our money or what? <laughs> what the first step that we should move? I mean, like, uh, Indonesia is also like uh, we know that uh, Indonesia is the flood. A uh, developing country, so maybe this crisis will uh, will be impact to Indonesia also. So, what do you think? Or uh, what uh, they say? Uh, he said that what we should do to uh, to recover it uh, slowly. Okay, <laughs> it's a very good question, and actually, it is very hard to answer because. Um, the question is regarding about the monetary field. So it's not in the middle of the economic, but it's, it's, it's kind of the government's policy, actually. But I will mention to you about the condition of economic of Indonesia. Based on the survey for this year, Indonesia is a rising of the economics. And as we know, as of our is youth, many people is in fast to um in the company. This is one of the important thing if you uh, if you want to help our country. And another thing is co our government is very good to control about the uh, inflation and rising up about the, in the dollar funds and exchange rate, but don't worry about that. And then another thing, talking about the, how about our contribution to the nation, just a simple thing. You can see that uh, many people, we have the efforts for the student is invest to the company in Indonesia. So uh, you can start it only 50,000 rupiah. You can invest to the company that you want. For example, you want to concern about the chemical, you can invest to Kimia Pharma, or you want to invest to energy, you can uh, go to the other energy and something else. So it is to just create an uh, example for to you. And um, talking about that, I already started to invest with my brother. So my brother is, uh, is already 17 years old. So he can uh, have some policy to invest. So they can be create uh, the account for the investment. And they already started to invest. So hopefully you can start by the invest to, uh, to your country, by invest to the company. That's the thing that we can do for our youth for today. Just start. Mulai aja dulu, guys. <laughs> Tokopedia. <laughs> okay. So, is it right? But is it right? So, actually, uh, thank you so much, Kareza, for the answer. So, maybe we move to Kak Yoga. Maybe I think this is the last question, guys, because uh, we didn't have any much time again. Uh, so, no doubt. Not to doubt that Indonesia is capable to earn sustainability for cities and communities, but I saw uh, on what's already explained by Kayoga uh, and all, all things seem to be positive outcomes. Meanwhile, there's also negative result in which we cannot deny. Yeah, I think this is correct also. So, mm -hmm. for example, on giving out batteries, we know that making batteries means we make batteries in process of another natural resources it still have negative impacts while processing uh, that. And also it requires human resources to do more research and it all comes with all process, long process. What I want to ask is on your point of view, do you think Indonesia can achieve this kind of sustainability while we know that there are observed with lack integrated human resources? And do you think, or are you sure that zero negative outcomes are we just ignore as is there there's no negative outcome just because we only focus on the positive outcomes. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can answer this question. Yeah, maybe, um, I have made yeah. summaries. Actually, there are four questions uh, for me. Uh, then, first of all, I have to say that we have to do objectives in every business case uh, or 
okay, anything. Uh. So <clears throat> we have to be objective, right? And then uh, there are some drawbacks or negative impacts from electric vehicles uh, for until today. Yeah. Uh, um, for example, uh, when we talk about the batteries, uh, this is my friend, uh, because in here, uh, it contains cobalt, you know, uh, cobalt is very rare earth metal. Yeah. And then most of them, maybe 50 until 70%, you can look in it, uh, looking for it in the internet. It comes from, uh, uh, how to say, Co uh, Cuba? Congo, yeah, Congo, Republic Congo. So what happens in there? You can look in, uh, uh, searching it on the YouTube. Cobalt mining in Congo. It's how bad it is. Uh, very, very bad. That's why, that's why Elon Musk, uh, uh, for the more time, uh, this is the, the top guy for to be acceptable, right? Elon Musk avoid cobalt-based uh, uh, battery. Uh, that's how we uh, move to the more sustainable materials. And for nickel case, Indonesia is the biggest uh, nickel source in the world, Indonesia. Uh, what we did uh, with uh, our plan uh, with uh, uh, my consortiums in nickel mining uh, company, uh, we do, uh, we do, uh, do you ever heard about the carbon credit uh, business, carbon neutral credit? Like uh, we, if we produce less carbon, we will gain uh, money or tax free tax and everything. That's what we want to do with nickel base. If we open uh, the forest, yeah, you can imagine open the forest, uh, move everything, trees and everything, and then dig uh, deeply uh, to gain some nickel. And then we process the nickel to be the batteries and everything, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then what happened in, in nickel site? So we have to give uh, some of our margin to the how to say companies or uh, NGO that they will uh, put uh, the trees and everything they will uh, so like kind of a cross uh, margin subsidy silang and uh, this is the same things happen in the carbon neutral credit uh, business okay that's how we uh, face the drawbacks from the EV industries that uh, there there are no, there is no zero uh, negative. I think always there is positive. And one more things is, I think this is the biggest concern of the uh, media is, yes, vehicle electric vehicle is there is no CO2 emission, but the electricity is coming from coal. <laughs> That's uh, the normal uh, issue. Uh, what we face is a step by step. As I have discussions with uh, PLN, uh, they will step by step moving to the hydrogen uh, power plant and also another uh, renewable energy power plant but step by step if you are asking now yes it is using coal and it is bad for the environmental but there is a carbon tax company that produce uh, co2 uh, will have to pay uh, money to the company that uh, making CO2 uh, decrease, something kind of that. This is uh, what happens today uh, in America, uh, Europe, but in Indonesia is only uh, tax, not margin, but only tax. Uh, that's how we uh, solve this issue. But later on, uh, step by step, uh, the electricity coming from the sun, coming from the hydrogen power plant, coming from the water power plant and everything from the wind from the solar yes that's just for the first questions and oh uh, she, she she asks about the how if the areas of indonesia is uh lack of integrated human resources i i'm not sure i understand this question but if the lack of integrated it if it means about the connection and everything uh we put on our IoT systems, on our new vehicle, Hyundai vehicle, electric two wheelers using ASIM. This is a little bit technical, but I, this is the answer for the uh, lack of integrated uh, human research. ASIMs, if there is no signal in the area, 
you know, 4G, 3G, and H+. Even H+, the vehicle still can be uh, used, can be run. Uh, this is the solution. But it's, if it is not clear enough, please put the on the comment. So the second is, do you think, uh, or are you sure that there is zero negative outcomes or we just ignore it? No, no, no. We, do, we never ignore it. We never ignore it. We have to be uh, responsible for our business cases. If we have to, if we want to have a long journey, uh, big success, we have to be responsible guy in every uh, field, in every business case. Uh, we never ignore. There is some drawbacks, okay? And then the third is, if there is something negative outcomes, do you think we should also demonstrate what was it all about in order for the precautions? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, precautions, for example, in this year, until December for G20, we have a pilot project uh, for the precautions. You know, uh, if something happens, uh, or we call it drawbacks or negative impacts of the electric vehicles, we still on pilot project. We still not selling our vehicle to the mass uh, productions. Then next year on February, we will go to the market, uh, and then everything is uh, have. Uh, solutions for every possibilities uh, drawbacks. That's how we do for the precautions. We do uh, trial first. Okay. The last question is from uh, Nurvita. How long will it take for Indonesia to maximize the uh, use of electric vehicle instead of ICE? Motorcycle, I think five years. Uh, cars, four-wheelers, I think at least 10 years because of tax, because of the investments. Uh, today, many big investors uh, interested to make electric vehicle manufacture in Indonesia because Indonesia is the third biggest market for uh, motorcycle in the world. And then Indonesia have nickel uh, research in the world. The biggest is in Indonesia. You can check it everywhere. And you know what? In the battery, my boy, they have 80% nickel. So nickel is 80%, maybe 60 to 88%. Uh, depends on the manufacturer uh, brands like LG is, uh, and Samsung have different uh, uh, materials ratio. But uh, at least nickel is the biggest composition of the battery. And Indonesia have uh, biggest nickel resource. And our president already. Uh, you know, melarang, uh, uh, how to say, prohibit uh, the nickel export uh, in the raw materials. It should be on the battery cells and everything. Okay, I think that's it. I hope it answered all of you guys. Okay. Okay, thank okay. you so much, uh, Kayoga, for the answer. So, guys, actually, I hope this. Uh, answer can answer your consider i mean like your concern or you have any uh, another view or opinion about uh, the things that you want to clear about uh, maybe kareza kayoga and kaputir already answer your question about if you want to make like a more clearly you can like um go to uh their instagram and follow them and maybe you can ask uh your uh, your concern so guys, I just want to remind um, for the participants here, maybe you are the candidate of participants, uh, don't forget to submit your essay and register yourself in your uh, Istanbul Youth Summit. And also, if you um, register yourself as bootcamp participants, you uh, the fee will already include uh, for uh, IOS, I mean like for Istanbul Youth Summit. So you, di you didn't pay any anything again. Um, like separate Istanbul Youth Summit and then the bootcamp because um, the bootcamp will get benefit for its iOS registration. So I think thank you so much uh, for all the speaker here, Ka Putri, Ka Yoga, uh, Ka Reza, uh, for your time. Um, and also I just want to uh, inform you guys, uh, if you continue uh, these things, I mean like uh, this education, uh, this program, uh, Kareza, Kayoga, and Kaputri also will be uh, your coach 
or your trainer uh, in every single field. So uh, if you're interested, just call the PIC of this webinar uh, to join this bootcamp. Okay, uh, once more, thank you so much for all the speaker and for all the participants here uh, that uh, stay until uh, the last of this webinar. Uh, if there's uh, any like concern, uh, you can talk to our team. And then maybe like there are some feedback uh, form uh, that you should that you should fill, uh, but uh, they will share it uh, to the group. Okay, maybe for now uh, we come to like a photo session. Yeah, Karizal, okay, okay. are you here? Okay, okay. Okay. So I hope yeah you can open your camera, guys. Okay, um, are you ready, guys? Okay, um, okay, uh, slide one, so one, two, three. All right, wait, I need this. Okay, slide two, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't even know in which slide are me. So, okay, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the speakers and the participants. I hope you can continue to the next webinar because we have like technology and then uh, health, especially in mental health field. So uh, maybe you want to, uh, you have any concern about technology and then uh, mental health, especially our health uh, field. You can go to webinar in Wednesday if I'm not wrong. So thank you so much, uh, guys. Um, keep health and stay health. Uh, don't forget to be inspired to others. And 